a Jamaican high to everybody on this earth. Yeah, how'd you like that one, Jamaican high? I know I sure likes this one, Jamaican high. I'm gonna show you where I woke up this morning at. Look where I was woke up this morning. This is where I woke up this morning. Check this view out. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Look. Look real close. Look real closely. Look real closely. Look real closely. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see that beauty I'm seeing every morning? <laughs> Look at that. Look at that beauty. Look at that beauty. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. The sunrise over the Caribbean. Well, what's, where, we're staying at Bamboo Cottage. <laughs> hey, yeah. Bamboo Cottage. Look at this. These are kneesberries. <coughs> <on the tree. coughs> it's sunberry. Sunberry. Yeah, these. Really, these are nice. Yeah. Hey, you remember those apples that you buy? Yeah. See, I had a apple tree with a apple on it. You can flim the apple on the tree. Go on to see apple on. This is this guy's property right here. <laughs> a poor man's land. <laughs> Look at this view, guys. Look at this view. Wait. Look at that. Fucking Caribbean. Oh, look at this. Look at this view. Look at that. Oh my god! <laughs> look at this uh, apple on my tree. Oh, no shit. They're little ones, though. Yeah, but you, yeah. Fuck, look you can this. eat them. Look at this, nigga. You pick one. <laughs> look at you that. You taste it. <laughs> That's fruits in the morning. It's. That uh, tastes good. And we paid money for these fuckers yesterday. Yesterday. <laughs> and I have them yet. Oh, fuck. You should have told me. Hey, I got a fucking tree full of that crap, man. Yeah. Why are you spending your money away? And I had mango. You, we could go and pick up some mangoes under the mango trees around there. Damn. Yeah. yeah. Those are stangerine. You know stangerine? I had stangerine under the tree out there. Thundering? Yeah. Let's see how you're free. What a fucking view, guys and gals. I'm, I'm out of speech just when I came up here last night. I would have done a video, but I didn't have no camera. This is this poor man's castle. <laughs> the poor man's castle. <laughs> the Neesberry tree. Neesberry. Neesberry. They got very nice fruit. This is a standerine. Standerine? Yeah. There's a green one on it. They don't ripe as yet. Green ones. Oh, tangerines. Yeah. Uh, tangerines. Now, uh, trust me, man. Tangerines are my favorite fruit. Yeah? Yeah, I, I am addicted to tangerines. Yeah, In Mexico, man, they got some good tangerines. Big old huge ones. They yeah. almost look like an orange or that big. You go, that's yeah. not it. That's an orange. Yeah. No, no, it's a tangerine. Oh, bullshit. Just gonna show this little June plum. This banana is gonna plant and, and breadfruit. Now this guy's dad bought all this land years ago. Yeah. And when he died, his children separated the land and all his brothers and sisters live on this land. Yeah. Now, we came up with an idea last night. We're gonna build bamboo huts, huts all over this fuck all over this mountain and rent it out for like ten dollars a night for you guys to come up here and smoke yeah. ganja <laughs> meet the marijuana growers <laughs> i think it's a badass day but i have to get married first <laughs> yeah.
I got to get a wife, and then then I got then I got to go to work to support my family. You want a wife? Yeah, I want a nice wife. What do you want? Double wife. So everybody who sees this video. But if you'd like to come up here and spend a night in a bamboo hut for ten bucks a night, and wake up in the morning and see this. And wake up in the morning and see this every day. Would you pay ten to twenty dollars a night? Smoke the best ganja. What is? Eat some fresh fruit right off the tree. Let me eat my apple and I'll talk to you guys what I was going to make this video about. It wasn't about this. I just wanted to show y'all what I get to see every morning for a couple months. Or until they kick me off the prop and tell me to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> now they say these seeds, this plant will dry out and open up. And the seeds fall out and they make a but they have to let the seeds fall onto the ground and they're saying they're making teas from it and other foods from it can you beat that guys just being friendly to people and, and giving them a joint and see what happens But the catch is, I told the guy I'd feed him every day. I live up here. So I got to eat anyway, so when I cook, I cook for two. I tried to make a review about Blue Mountain yesterday and before I went off the hill. And my battery went dead. But an overview of Blue Mountain. You know, where I lived at Wild, Wildflower Lodge. You know, I, I, like I said, I paid... Uh, for 11 days, I paid... Uh, 18000 Jamaican dollars, which is a 116 to a dollar right now. A room and food for that much. The marijuana wasn't that good up there. It was, uh, reminds me of Mexican weed. Blue Mountain, some really crappy weed. But right now I'm at St. Mary. And uh, man, my, my skin, look at my skin just dry. You see that shit? My fucking face is peeling off my fucking, my bones. <laughs> I gotta get some lotion on real fast. But I'll just dry off, the, get the dead shit off before I put that crap on. But I'm a white man in Jamaican sun, man. It just cooks in my skin like it's fucking nothing up here. But I'll just turn black and I'll just one day, and I'll be a black man in Jamaican. Yeah, I doubt that. You know, like Blue Mountain Peak froze my ass off. It's cold up there. But you know what? It got kind of chilly down here last night. I, I whacked my sleeping bag around. Didn't, I didn't s slept good, man. I didn't sweat. So, uh, but it, at first at night time, it was kind of warm. The wind blows all the time here, St. Mary's. But let's get back to review Blue Mountain. Now remember, you guys can take a, a taxi uh, with a whole bunch of people crammed in together because they just wait until the taxi fills up and then they go where you want to go at. Tell them you want to go to Papine. And you go to Papine and then ask them where the buses are at to go to uh, 
you, if you can try to go up to the gap that's as far as you can go with the uh, with the bus to the gap and from the gap you can uh, hitch a ride up there if a jeep comes by just show them some money and hey can you give me a ride up to the top of the blue mountain or you can hike up going to take you about a 20 25 40 40 minute hike probably to get up to the hostels a steep hike but uh I've seen people doing it, and I went halfway down the mountain on both sides in my other videos. <laughs> Do I recommend you going up to Blue Mountain? Yeah, you're going to have to see Blue Mountain. And uh, check it out. I, I have no complaints about it. The owner of Blue Mountain was really good. I made another video, and that's the reason why I'm going to delete that one when I do get it. Find it. My last day in Blue Mountain. Because I said something bad about a person. Nobody ripped me off, okay? Not yet. I don't think yet. I did spend 22000 22, one day. And I think somebody took some money out of my backpack. I'm pretty sure. Because I didn't go through $22,000 in one day. So I know somebody seen where my money was put at because I, I, I show everybody my money where it put at. If they want to steal it, let them steal it. It's their conscience that they have to live with the rest of their lives. No complaints about Blue Mountain. I give it a, a 10 star. How, he, how they treated me, how they fed me. A wildflower mountain. The view was great. The people were great. Uh, May and June is when they pick the uh, coffee beans. That's when you get to meet all the coffee growers. Today is June 16th now, 2015. And all the coffee growers left this weekend. And that's the reason why I had the opportunity to go with these guys. Because they were coffee growers, or coffee farmers. You get mosquitoes over here. But... I don't think mosquitoes like my toxicated body that the government put upon my body through chemtrails and GMO foods and uh, the fluoride that I drink in. And St. Mary's has chlorine. So I just walked down the road over to there, to there, back over there on the other side of that mountain and pulled my drinking water right out of the stream, right where the city was pumping their water into this the city plant water company was plant pumping the water into their chlorine machine and they had a had a big old tank that had little lines going through it and I drank a little bit of that water. I said, it don't taste good. It just doesn't smell smells like chlorine, but it doesn't taste like it. But went around the tank and it says hazardous to inhale. Uh, hazardous to your digest would be the best thing to be written on there, but they don't want to show you that on their water. <laughs> I walked right inside the Jamaican water plant, too. Yeah, the hippie tears. The hippie tears walked inside the water plant. <laughs> walked right in. Hell, I was looking at all the equipment. We're looking at the water pumps going, damn, they don't lock this place up. I wouldn't drink out of the water city water because I don't drink out any city water well there's my review for Blue Mountain and uh, I'll give you a review about St. Mary's but right now I can tell you what I'm gonna be very very happy to be stranded here for many many months on an island Shipwrecked on an island? Hell no, man. I, I fucking... Worse than that. <laughs> now, there you guys go. And gals go. This is to all my women who see all my videos. There's a Jamaican flower to each and every one of you. May y'all think about me like I thinks about every one of you. And there's the castle, King's Man's Castle. 
Uh, I think I got a better house to sleep in, but I'm not going to say nothing to him. <laughs> One more of you, and I'm going to go. I got some life to live. One crazy, fucking crazy, crazy life. Uh, my next few videos, I was promised that I was going to be taken to a big old huge marijuana field, a ganja field. So that's going to be fun. They haven't harvested yet. They're ready to harvest. So, uh, that's my next video. I promise you, okay? I promise you. I, I got to get some, get rid of this hard drive. Well, talks to y'all later. Enjoy us the view. Why as you can. Puts it on pause. Just puts it on pause and just says, Should I go to Jamaica and see what this guy is seeing every day? And this is what's going on, everybody. I'll give you a little secret. In Mexico. In Mexico. November. December and January. I hate Mexico. It's too cold. And I only can live here in Jamaica three months. So this is what my plans are for the rest of my life. I'm going to come here to Jamaica in November, December, January. Go back to Mexico. Those three months. February, March, and April. And then to April, I go back to the United States in May, the beginning of May. See my doctor and fly back down to Jamaica. Then you got June, July, or you got May, June, and July. And I fly back out in August, August, September, and October in Mexico. And that's how I'm going to live my life from now on. It's going to cost a little bit of money. But what a life I'm going to be living. Make sure I treat this guy good so I have a place to come to. I just come to Jamaica, live right here, see the view every day. Go to, oh, he had some friends that we just seen a couple minutes ago walking by. And he looks at me and he goes, man, they've been up all night long partying. I said, what? It's not Friday, Saturday, Sunday. This is, they do it all week here. I said, we got to go to that place where they were partying that all night. Right on the beach. A bar. Smoking weed in the bar all night long. Man, that sounds fun. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed this one video. If you didn't enjoy it, man, what the hell are you smoking? You ain't smoking no ganja, that's for sure. <laughs> Oh, man. What a life. God, you just wake up every morning, you're just surprised. What else are you going to get your feet stuck into you? Mouth. God, man, can you imagine having a hut here? Really? Can you imagine sitting out here in a bamboo hut? Right here on a porch and just looking at all of this? Just staring right at it. But what we're going to do is we're going to go down, build one bamboo hut down there. Come up and build another one up a little higher. Build 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 one a little higher. One a little higher. And then everybody just sits in these bamboo huts looking over the roof and get to see the view that everybody else is seeing. I like that idea. <laughs> Hurricane comes. I don't think it's going to blow bamboo away. Yeah, it's going to be nice. This is going to be really nice. This is all his land right here. <laughs> Have like 20 little huts here and big old bonfire up there and people partying all night long. Place to take a shit, place to take a shower, place to sleep at, and a place to smoke ganja at. What else can you ask for in life?
And yes, he will not cut down the trees to give you guys a better view. <laughs> he says, no, the trees stay. Well, that's my investment. If I'm going to find a woman here in Jamaica, that's what I'm going to invest in right here. I think I can make a little living right here. Trust me, man. I won't make much, but you throw out some good advertisements, uh, all the ganja you can smoke. <laughs> Come up here and stay on the, in the bamboo cottage. Where the ganja, where you can find the ganja at. <laughs> that is a good sin. But it's going to happen, because you know why? We were coming up here and he goes, you know what? There's so much bamboo all over this fucking island. I says, well, you know, you can make things out of bamboo. I've seen a lot of things when I come up here. Man, he just flipped out. He goes, well, he goes, this is what, oh, he's going to open up a weird looking store, man. Let me, let me subscribe it to you. Or do you want to go see it? Okay, I'll go show it to you. And I'll talk more. <laughs> I'll show you what he's coming up with. Hey! Yeah. But let's go take a walk and show everybody your your idea. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Oh, don't 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 mess up. Yeah. Oh. There's there's uh J DJ right there. Yeah. You guys yeah. all remembered him. Yeah, DJ <laughs> Flames. Uh, yes, Gringo. <laughs> yes, Gringo. <laughs> I guess they stayed up on that. You see the, the mango and the mango tree? You can take up one and eat. The long mango. Really? That's the one that don't hitch up in your teeth. Right up there? Yeah, you want one to eat? Yeah, we'll come well, after. Well, after we uh, come. Yeah, I want to show everybody your idea. Because I already told them the idea about uh, that bamboo cottage. Where, the, where you can find all the ganja, Jamaica ganja at. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll get prepared for Jamaica when they legalize and we'll be all set up, ready to go. <laughs> the touch that uh, you're telling me about, we put on the roof. Right. The touch, there is the touch. That's what we use. Yeah, that, yeah. 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 Okay, everybody. He, he's come up with this weird idea of making this store and he goes, Well, I want to do this and do that. And I said, Man, you do this and do that, you're going to be throwing your money away. And he goes, Oh, no, no. So I, I convinced them to, to change this place into something bizarre. <laughs> something I've never seen. <laughs> you see the big mangoes on the tree. Yeah, look at the mangoes. Yeah. You know, that's my favorite fruit right there. You know, for something in the morning, eat one of those with a banana. Yeah. Man, you're, you're set for the day. You're walking around going, ha, 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 I feel good. <laughs> The so I, I don't have to worry about uh, breakfast, going in the store and buying my breakfast anyway, so... Yeah, you pick them up. <laughs> <laughs> so that's going to save me a, a yeah. lot of money every morning. Yeah. You pick too happy, you eat two mangoes. Now, why, why don't you guys tell what your brother told you today about the... The beach? Yeah, tell, yeah, tell them. Go. Yeah. I thought... I believe he gone to the sea. Okay, this is what's going on. Last night I told him, or I, I said, you know what, you need to create, uh, create a trail right to the beach for everybody that comes up here can just walk right across the highway and have a trail going to the beach. Well, he wakes up this morning tell him, hey, I spoke to my brother, and he said he cleared out the road and put hammocks on the end of the, right on the beach. I said, are you shitting me? He goes, yeah, that's what he's done while I was gone. So we'll, we'll take a video. No. Oh, we'll walk God. down there and we'll videotape this. See how, how nice it is. So you just, there's the highway right there. So you, anybody that comes up to Bamboo Cottage can just go right out here and take a 
take a taxi or a ride. You just wave out your hands. Hey, there's some money right there. Hell, I'm going to pick up this money. You know why? Hell, because I heard you pick up money and you put it in your shoe. You're going to become rich one day. <laughs> <laughs> they, they say you pick up a penny, find a penny, you pick it up, and you put it in your shoe. Yeah? Yeah. I got yeah, I got a rock in my shoe. Right after I said that, I stepped on a rock in my shoe. I was going, ouch, yeah, ouch, it. ouch. You want to put a penny in your shoe? <laughs> dry river bed but the, the other river was oh there was some nice fish in that other river man yeah we're gonna go fishing everybody yeah we're gonna go fishing probably seen my fucked up toe i've had toe fungus for many many years <laughs> this, is, this is his bar and store he wants to open up and I laughed at her. I said, man, what you been smoking, man? What you coming up with? And he goes, no, man, no, no, this is a really good idea. And he wanted to put plywood in there, but I said, you know, you put plywood in there, it's going to warp. I said, better yet. <laughs> I come up with this idea. I said, you know what? Why don't we get a welding torch and we just blow holes all over this building? So when the wind blows, it circulates right through the building. <laughs> yeah. And he's going to paint it the Jamaican color, black, gold, and red. And green. Green? Oh, yeah, yeah go, go get Yeah, okay. And, uh, and I turn around and I said, just punch a whole bunch of holes in it, paint it, put cement in the floor, put bamboo, uh, bamboo everything inside, like a table and stuff like that, all made out of bamboo. And then up there, put the palm leaves up. Put some more beams up in there and tie in palm leaves so if there's a hurricane, just blows the roof off and just replace the roof. <laughs> <laughs> and he wants to open up a store, man. And I thought that would be a bitchin' idea. Leave everything original the way it is. And we're going to have seafood restaurant. I'm going to need a shop right here. Come right here, just like this. Come down. Okay. Okay, here, hold the camera. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. I got a mosquito in my eye. Yeah. Got a mosquito in my eye, man. Damn it. <laughs> the hockey tree. It's a hockey? Yeah, hockey tree. Here's one I have here, too. Right in front of my building. It's a hockey. Hockey, yeah, we cook the hockey in heat. Oh, hockey. Yeah. That's hockey right there, too? Yeah, Tim? that's hockey. There's a lot of hockey around there. This is my little hockey tree. My I lips. cook hockey and fry dumpling. Yeah. Hockey. Well, I've never seen it, never heard of it. I'm going to try it, though, when it's ready to pick. They say hockey. Pass. Jamaican national dish. Oh, that's what they were talking about. Yeah. Hockey. This is the hockey. Hockey is a Jamaican national dish. Yeah. That's what you guys were talking about last night. They kept on asking me what's the nationality dish for uh, United States oh. or, and Mexico. And I looked at it and I said, nationality dish? I said, hell, I guess it's Mexico's the tacos. <laughs> and probably the nationality for the United States is probably the hot dog or the hamburger. Hell, hell I don't know. <laughs> I got yeah. I told him, hell, I don't know what the nationality dish is for, for all these countries I've been in. Yeah. <laughs> I said, I think Jamaica's the only nation on earth that has their own nationality dish. <laughs> This is the bar where we uh, drank yeah. beers at last night. Yeah. Can't see the beach. Oh, there, there's, you can see the ocean right here. All right. In, later we'll walk, go on the beach. Yeah, we're going to do that. Yeah. We're gonna do that. Next video, we'll be walking the beach, okay? So, uh... Thanks for uh, seeing my videos and I uh, hope you enjoy the visit to Jamaica because you're just going to see what I'm going to be seeing this whole trip. I promise you, okay? I promise you. Remember, we are going to go to Orange Hills someday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got to go see where the gum is made. Charters, the gum, or, 
or finger hash. Let's we'll smoke some of that. Uh, but we are going to promise you, you're going to see a ganja field, okay? A whole bunch of ganja plants. So that's what he promised me, so. Because he knows everybody here. I did smoke some good weed last night. Yeah. God damn, that shit was so good. And somebody gave me just a joint, big old huge joint of this good shit. Man, it just kicked my ass. I was going, yeah, this reminds me of some United States weed. Wow, bro. Run away. What a beautiful place to have bamboo huts right there. Yeah, around the fruit street. Look at that. From up here all the way up to your place. And then we'll just go build a mansion. We'll go buy property and build a mansion somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> Let yeah. this... I just think it would be nice looking just huts built all over there. All won't, over hurt the, won't hurt the environment. We won't touch nothing. Nothing. Just put, you know... Bamboo in the ground and cement and start building. Truckloads of bamboo coming in. What the hell are these guys doing, man? What the hell are these guys doing smoking ganja? What the fuck are they doing? <laughs> now he said that they cut this place out for your sister. My niece. niece your you niece. You want to yeah. go around there and see? Yeah, you can have a look. So we were thinking to go ahead and just put start the huts right here because you can look at the view look at this view look at this view right here you know this would be the prime this would be the prime fucking uh Fact. yeah have stairs coming up here yeah. and having having like four or five huts uh, right here come and look at this view out there come in oh shit so this would be the best view yeah, probably right the here pine, the pine in the sea look at the piece of land going in the sea i know That is a beautiful view, man. Gosh. Well, I know what money I have. I think we can do it. And within three years, we can we can have an income where once we get the income coming, we just build off the income. Yeah. Expand. Because uh, I tell you, if you offer somebody a real nice place to sleep at, clean bed, yeah. you know, place to shower, place to take a shit at, place to wash their clothes at, and you know, and it's just walking. They say it's you one hour to walk to uh, St. Mary's if you walk. Is that what you said? Yeah, probably less. Too. Less? Yeah. Because, it, listen what now, the road, you had people live along, the road comes straight on. Straight on, huh? Straight on, you know? Yeah. Oh, they're working on this place already. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's a nice house here. Yeah, nice Those house tucked away. Lime mangoes and the tree. Lime mangoes. Lime mangoes. Lime mangoes. Lime. That's avocado. Right beside. Oh, the avocado. Yeah. You know what? That's my that's my dish right there. Yeah. I can eat avocado every night. If you didn't see the avocados, they're small. You will small. get some avocado to eat before you leave here. Those will be ready. Yeah, this is gonna be a nice little place. Let's see their view. See what their porch view is going to look like. Well, they got the foundation already poured and everything. Nice. Nice place. Man. Look at that view. Beautiful view. Yeah, they're going to see the sunrise here all the time. Yeah, it's a nice guy. Man, a house like this in the United States, once it's built, would go for like easily three hundred, four hundred thousand, as small as this. Yeah. yeah. Four hundred thousand dollars easily. On the coastline. 
And just, the, you know, hell, it's a big place. This is a nice home they're building. Wow. What a nice place. They're already sleeping in it, huh? Yeah. How are they? They're sleeping in it. All right, we shouldn't be here. They're probably in bed. No, no one is there. Oh, no? Wow. So all this is this guy's land right here. Yeah, all these is my land. All this too? Yeah, all this. <clears throat> you know what? Some people like Look their... Look at this. You hear about the sour sap? Jamaican sour sap? That is one. Here's one on the tree. Jamaican sour sap? Yeah, you can just pick it and heat oh, it. Oh, yeah. that, yeah. Yeah, you can just eat it. Or you mix it and put it in the you milk. You know what? I remember uh, yeah, they had those in Mexico. I bought one. Yeah, sour sap. Yeah, that was pretty good. I enjoyed that. Yeah, yeah I bought one of those one time in Mexico. But that's ripe or you have to, it's bad. That one look like it's ripe. Yeah, it does. Yeah. So then you have the coconut tree with the coconut on it. You see that? Yeah. <laughs> this guy was telling me, he was telling me all his plants he had on his property. And I was going, what bullshit, man? Yeah, I got this and I got you that. You have a coconut tree there with the coconut on it. I do like coconuts. Yeah. I, oh, you get you some water coconut to drink. Jamaican dog. Yeah. Yeah, I do like coconut milk. Even I the don't coconut. Know whose dog is that? Some Kill it. Dog just train around. So at the end of the creek is your property right here. Yeah. Go over there. So you can come up here and clean all this up. All put, this up. I can clean yeah, all this up. Put some more fruit trees in yeah. here. You know that? That's what I would do. Yeah. I would. I invest money and plant fruit trees right back in here. I'm not here. I wouldn't say that I'm going to look money to fix my place. <laughs> hey. Hey. Oh go. yeah, everybody. He said his. Uh, he had a really nice house in a hurricane. What year was the hurricane? Ah, I don't remember. I'll have to ask my sister. He had the date right down. So uh, <laughs> there, a hurricane and blew half his house oh, away. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> or blew half his foundation away, he said. <laughs> Plus his house. <laughs> hey, you got goat shit, man. Those guys go. Yeah. Well, you end up back in. There is the tour of his place, man. Look at that place up there, that greenhouse. Yeah, that's my friend's house. Look at that view he has. Shit. Yeah, he should have built his house a little bit closer to the edge. Yeah, and go on the top. Yeah. It's still a nice place. Well, like I always has to say in life, and I'll say it for the rest of my life. Love each other like the Rastafires do to have peace on this earth. <laughs> oh, I like that one. I like that one. <laughs> okay, you guys. Love each other like the hippies do to have peace on this earth. <laughs> and live like I do. You have only one life to live. Only one life to live. Let me show you something. Come let me show you something. <laughs> he offered me the place to live at before I offered him the food, okay? That's how nice this guy is. Some nice. Now I am the first American that's ever party with him. And the guy show you. Well, the guineas I want to show you. 
The gainaps. gainaps. See the gainaps on the tree? They don't ready as yet. Well, I'm going to want you to see how it grows on the tree. These little berries yeah. everywhere. Yeah, and you crack them and just suck them. They're so sweet. Really? Yeah. Jamaican gainaps. There's fruits in the morning. Okay. They're not ready yet. Then, they turn red? Yellow? No. What? They just get right. They stay still green. But you know when they're full? And you taste it, it can just suck off in your mouth like when wow. you put it on, just yeah. Well, Very I'm gonna nice. be I'm gonna be eating some good food. Yeah. Well wow, that's a nice tree, never seen it. Yeah. I want no, it Mexico before. doesn't have those trees. And you see these are so sweet. They crotch your throat. It tastes like you're eating sugar. Are drinking honey. What's the name of that again? Kneesberry. Kneesberry. Yeah. Yeah. You I see. want you to get one before you leave. Yeah, now, Prince. Yeah. Now, now, right, Kneesberry, number one. Yeah, now, number one. Yeah, that's a nice one there. No, my head have to pick out the big one, them. That big one right up there looks good. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that big one. We're gonna one. pick it better right for you, man. All right. Well, long as, I, long as I'm fed every day, I don't give a shit. <laughs> I told you the mongrel. Don't worry, that dog and puppy will bite. The dog is one ugly looking dog, man. Yeah. Why? You know what? All I heard was fucking dogs barking all night long all over this mountain. Everybody owns a dog, huh? <laughs> Everybody in Jamaica owns a dog. This whole mountain, man, for about 15 minutes. <laughs> the mangoes, the long mangoes. There are the long mangoes. All right, just plant your tree and just kick back and wait for harvest time. <clears throat> I am hungry too. Smoking this good joint of Jamaican weed. A lot of Jamaicans have rabbit up here too. They don't, this family doesn't have it. But up in Blue Mountain, a lot of people own rabbit. I did eat my first uh, curry goat last night for my birthday present one day late, but we got some goat. <clears throat> Man, that was some good food. Oh gosh, that was some good goat. Oh man, I pigged out. I forgot all about that. Oh. So this is when it's ripe is when they fall on the ground? Yeah, when they rot, they fall on the ground. You we know, come and we pick them up and we just wash them. And heat them. Do you know what? Here's another thing, man. On a windstorm, well, on a really windy day, come out here and I bet you there's fruit all over the ground for you. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna have some mangoes for breakfast, some some cookies for breakfast, and I'll be happy. I want to pick two off a tree. I want to pick two. <laughs> I'm hearing this song, hearing this guy singing, and I'm going, what the hell is he singing, man? They're probably not ripe yet. This is gonna be falling, but I don't see none falling yet. That one, hey, this one tree right here is a good one. Yeah, that, that's the one you should shake. Shake, if you, it, shake it, shake it. You already did? Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. We got one. Oh, look at that milk. Oh, that, that, no, that's a stain. That's a stain. Oh, shit, man. They told me not to drink that crap. Uncle <laughs> <laughs> Can't find the right one. Look at that shit just dripping white crap. Yeah, 
glue. Like glue? Yeah, that's and I ate it? That's a stain. <laughs> that's a stain. It's, it's oh, stain. look at that shit. Bizarre, it man. It won't hurt you. I know. Okay, I'm gonna live. Yeah. I'm here. Well, you know what? I think this is all I want to try. <laughs> that, that nice, man. Very nice, man. Look. It's sticky as hell, man. No, man. This one is young, man. See one big one, the print. This is too young? Yeah. But you have to put it down to ripe. Yeah, you put it down. No, no shaking. Let's pick out a big one. You can't catch it. Man, that shit is sticky as yeah, fuck, man. It's like glue, man. That one is young, man. This one's no good? They use that to um, all the paper it's together. Not, it's not that full. I don't know if you can see it. Really? Big one, see the, the biggest one. Oh, that big one, the other one. Yeah. Man, that white shit, man, that is some weird that crap. That one is young, man, that's why it has so much milk. Man, that's fit, fit there. Yeah, they got that big one I filmed. God, man, that shit is all over my fucking fingers, man. Yeah, man that's like glue. That can hold paper together and plastic. Really? Hold paper and plastic you yeah, together? They, they use that um, to hold plastic and kite. You know kite, right? Yeah? yeah they use no that. way. Do they really? Yeah, man. So my lips are gonna... Mangoes here. Yeah, that's long mangoes. So what's up with the tree, Uncle Michelle? That's lime mangoes. Lime mangoes. Yeah. Man, well, this is what we're going to be eating today. Hey, want me to get those other mangoes? All right. Man, I already been bit. So we got, we got flea infestation. Yeah, fleas love me. Well, if you guys want to see the next video, I'll show you what that fucking white looking thing looks like. Oh, he's going to get the mangoes. Oh, man, I am hungry, too. So you guys never pay for breakfast, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Me pick them up. Look still, but see me the pick up some of Stupid old me stick that white shit all over my lips and sticking. Alright. I don't know how they're gonna clean that, but you guys want to see what it looks like? I'm kind of curious too, man. I've never seen a fruit like that. Ah. Man, look at that view. Yeah, I walked up here and I just said, oh shit. Get that white shit off my fingers, man. <clears throat> God. Whoa, God. Huh? No, I'm not worried about these shoes getting wet. Where's my mango at? I'll take that one. I'll eat that one. That looks good, man. That's a nice one. No, that's good. No, I just want one, man. Here. I'll, I'll eat two of them. Green banana? All right. Where's that fucking white shit at, man? Where's that white, that fruit, that... I put it down. Well, let will cut it. You're gonna love it. Oh, it needs to ripe? No ripe as yet. All right. 
See ya. Hope you enjoyed this one video. I'll show you how they eat the mango. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'd show you how I'm going to eat my mango, but I don't have time. <laughs>